Hey, Carla Williams, it's Jeff here, and today we're gonna to teach you how to use landing pages for your social posts. And uh, if you wanna email the link to anybody that might wanna use it uh, and see a home that you are promoting in some way. And the reason for this video is because agents are still using other .com links to promote a listing when you can easily create your own link for that listing so it has your branding all over it. So someone please tell me why you would use someone other other .com link versus a link that you can create in the matter of minutes that has your branding and a lead form that directs back to you. I can't think of any reason why would you why would you do why you wouldn't do that. Um, use your own link. So let's get into it and I'll show you how to do it. It's really easy, it won't take you long. If you miss a step or I'm going a little too fast, just pause it, rewind, and watch it again. So we're gonna jump right in on how to create a landing page. So what you're gonna first do is get into command. You're gonna be here in sites on the bottom left. We're already here. And we want to create a landing page. So let's start with creating a new site right here. Create a new site. And we want to create as a standalone page. Select that, create the page. And the first thing I want you to do is change this title. That's gonna be the um, file name. It'll be easier for reference later. So I like to just use uh, the address for the home. So I already picked one out, to, Jar to Jardine Lane. And it's gonna be as easy as dragging these widgets to the left. But let's first get rid of this, where, where it says, once you're happy, you can tell your widgets by clicking configure. We'll just get rid of that, get that out of the way. So the first thing I want you to do is see branded header. This is just a this is just click and drag. Click it and drag it, boom. First one. Second one is about the listing, yes. Click it, drag it. Great, placeholder. Scroll to the bottom of that page. Now you might want to do something about you. So let's look at your agent branding. So we're just gonna click this, drag it to the bottom of this page, right there, and let go. There's my agent branding. And then the last thing you're gonna really want to do is your lead form. Click and drag to the bottom. You see there's a lead form. You could do more. Here's Market Snap or Local Expert. That's up to you if what if you want to add more. But let's keep it simple. Again, it's just clicking and dragging your widgets. So we're happy with our widgets. We're going to click Configure Widgets. And you see you have one, two, three, four. Branded header being number one. So let's start at the top. Click it, Branded Header, where it says Header Text. This here, what you type here within 30 characters will land right over here. So let's just type in We'll just type in the address. Again, you can type in whatever you want. Everything here should default. Click save and apply. Okay, that's your first widget is done. So here's what I wrote. Now we need to populate this widget with all the information of that listing. So we're gonna go here to the top right to the little arrow. So instead of one to four, we wanna to go to two to four. What's awesome about command is that you don't have to leave command. In this case, we're gonna click browse listing. You don't have to find the listing in the, uh, your local MLS. You can do it right within command. Let's look for this listing. It's in Lincoln Park, New Jersey. We'll click search. And here it is. You can see there are a lot of different homes, but it pulled up the first one. We're gonna select it. And you can choose your header image to be whatever you want it to be that, that are in the photos for the ML, the MLS. I happen to like the first photo of the front shot of the house. We'll just leave it at that. You can add a custom image. Again, we'll keep it simple. I'm gonna leave that alone. Then we'll just click save and apply. And you can see it populates it right away. Super easy. Here's your first image, your header image. And then when you scroll down, it just carousels, how cool is that, through all the images. 
that are on the ML, and all you have to do is look for him on, on, on the, the KWLS. Now, okay, we scroll down, it has all the features, so on and so forth, it has a copy about the property and other items that's again pulled directly from the MLS. Okay, last one is, actually, I'm sorry, three of four. We'll click here the arrow to go to three of four. Everything self populates. This is pretty straightforward. You can add a fax, or if you have a different logo, you can do that there. I'm not making any changes, so I'm going to just click save and apply. And the very, very last one is our lead form. Again, we'll move up here to the right. So we're on three or four, let's go to four or four. And the header text is right here. So interested, let's talk. We could just say anything you want. Something like, contact me for the deets. Okay, save and apply. And there you go, contact me for the deets. Okay, so you're just going to review it, make sure you're happy the way it looks. I'm happy with the way it looks. And now I'm gonna click publish page. And when you click publish page, it's gonna go live immediately. So we'll click it. It's gonna say, are you sure? Because it's gonna be visible to others. We're gonna say, we sure are. It's gonna take you right back into the sites. And you can see, now I have the file name called to Jardine Lane the URL that I can use anywhere I want. And you can even customize it further in the URL. It helps it make it a little bit more identifiable for you and your clients. So just click the three dots, click change URL, and you can just change this entire last section to whatever you want to be, just no spaces. So I like to put in the home address, or listing address, see no spaces. I'm gonna just take those spaces out. And it's happy. We'll click create. See right here, it changes to two, 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 excuse me, two Jardine Lane. Say that three times fast. Now all you gotta do is click that link. It's gonna launch you to the page you just created with your branding and your lead form. So how's this gonna look in your social page? Well, let's go take a look. We've, copied, we've already copied the, the link. Let's go to Facebook. Throw a couple spaces in there. Paste the link. Give it a moment. And there you go, boom, done. So now, it says right here, town, the, the address of the home, a little bit of copy. We can actually delete this now and you can write whatever you want. Say, come see me at the open house or whatever it's gonna write. So when they click this link in the feed, it's gonna end up over here again. Stop using otherpeoples.coms, please, I'm begging you. Create your own landing page. Super easy, lead forms, your branding everywhere. It looks great. The carousel is great. I can't think of any reason why you would not want to do this. If you actually, if you have a reason, please tell me in the comments below why you wouldn't want to use this in your social page. So if you have any questions, again, pause, rewind, replay, comment below. If you have any other questions, if you have any ideas for videos, let me know. That's it. Again, please use your own landing page to promote whatever you want to promote. Stop using other people's dot coms. I'm begging you guys. That's it. I'm out of here. Have a great day. And I'll see you around the market center.